What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I am currently in Nina's apartment. Um, you guys haven't met her yet, but you'll meet her in a second. She's just getting ready. Um, basically, long story short, we met each other maybe two weeks ago now, and we actually filmed another video for my channel that's going up next week. And then right now we're filming a video for her channel. We're actually gonna do a workout partner video. Um, and our videos are going up on the same weekend. So I'm excited to share it with you. She's gonna take me through a little partner workout. Her videos are super easy to access. They're all on YouTube. Um, they're all shorter length too. So like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Fun! Hello guys! Hi. Oh wait, I screwed it up. I wanna show our matching outfits. Isn't it cute? It's gonna be so cool. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, let's film. We're gonna go film the workout and um, Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah. Maybe I give them a sneak peek, like a little, oh, a yeah. baby one. Just a baby yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? I just finished the workout with Nina. It was so much fun. Um, now I'm gonna head to Whole Foods. I'm gonna get some groceries for the week, but also tonight I'm having some of the girls over. Shivani's actually in town. She's gonna be here for a month. So we're having a little bit of a reunion at my place tonight. And I just wanna get some fun little things to eat and drink. So I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I had a really busy morning and it's honestly been a pretty busy week so far too, but it just wasn't the kind of things that I could vlog. So I was like, I'm just gonna start when I'm back home and when I actually have time to show you guys something. I was in Milwaukee on Tuesday. Oh, my laces aren't tied. Uh, Milwaukee on Tuesday then worked in the city on Wednesday. Didn't get home until like 12.30 or one on Wednesday morning, so it was like kind of a short night. This morning I actually had coffee with Livy. Livy's been traveling for like two months, so we haven't seen each other. So it was really nice to catch up and then I had to go to the bank because I had some business related things to take care of. So I didn't have everything that I was looking for, so I'm gonna have to place an order to come for the weekend, but I did get some snacks and just some other little things. Baby carrots with hummus for tonight. Got some feta for like salads and stuff. Bananas and apples. I'm gonna make some oatmeal this weekend. Avocados, you guys already know. I always buy these. Um, these are those little beef links that I love for breakfast. Some smoked salmon, and then I got some sweet and salty popcorn and then I also got these avocado sea salt chips because I know the girls like those. I'm listening to a podcast which is why I have my airpods in but I'm trying to do my hair because I washed my hair last night and then I was gonna do it this morning but I ended up not having time. I was at the bank for much longer than I thought so I'm doing it now but um, I actually recently bought the shark flex style. And if you guys follow me on TikTok, I actually did a little unboxing over there, so I can link that below if you're interested. But I am so crazy about this tool. Obviously, I've seen the Dyson Airwrap and just the Dyson products ever since they came out, and I wasn't really interested in it until someone used it on set on my hair. And it just looked so pretty, and it seemed so easy to do. So I started looking into it, didn't wanna pay the full like $700 because the Dyson is really expensive. It's also really hard to get right now. So I ended up finding this, which I'll show you guys how to use it in a second. And this one's by Shark and I have the Shark blow dryer if you guys know, which I love. It's such a good blow dryer. I actually got that from like an Allure event last summer or something crazy like that. And um, anyway, so I bought Oh my god, the sirens are insane. Anyway, so I bought this. I've been using it. I mean, I've only really used it a few times because obviously when I'm working, I can't do my own hair. But I really, really, really like it. And um, yeah, I thought I would show you guys. Obviously, I'm not trying to influence you to buy crazy expensive hair products, but 
The cool thing about this one is that there's so many things you can do with this in one. You can either get the full attachment bundle or you can just get three attachments. I just got the three. I got the blow dryer, which you attach here and then you can just like use a regular blow dryer. Then I got this, oops, um, round brush attachment, which I actually just used to kind of straighten it before I curl it. And then I got the air wrap or flick style attachment. So yeah, it's still pricey. It's, I think this was like around 300, but I think for the amount of tools that it comes with, for the amount of different styles you can do with your hair, it's definitely worth it, especially if you are the kind of person that likes to just have everything all in one. I'm just plugging in one of my camera batteries. Um, I just changed. This is what it looks like when I haven't used any product on my hair. And I feel like unless I'm going out to dinner or I really want my hair to look like spectacular, I try not to use any product just because I know it's not good for me. But yeah, I really like it so far. I feel like it gives my hair a similar look. Oh my God, sorry. Similar look to how it looks when I curl it, but it just gives me a little bit more body, which is the only problem with like curlers and straightening irons for me is I feel like it takes all the volume out of your hair. So I'll keep you guys posted. I only just got it, obviously. So um, I'll let you guys know how I continue liking it as I go. I, um, I just had a crazy idea of making some cookies for my friends and also for my boyfriend because he's coming over later tonight. I saw this really simple peanut butter cookie recipe on Instagram earlier, and I have peanut butter because I made these brownies. I think it must have been like last week or something. I didn't vlog last week because I had the Q&A and I was working a lot, but I made these brownies. Um, I'll make them for you guys maybe in the next vlog or something. They were amazing, but they were, just a regular chocolate fudgy brownie, and then they had a peanut butter swirl on top. And they were a huge hit. Um, Avery took them to work the next day, because obviously if we have brownies in the house, I'm gonna eat them all myself. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna make them because I still have like 30-ish minutes before the girls get here, and these cookies should really only take me like 20. Instead of setting you guys up and just doing like a crazy montage, I think I'm just gonna walk you through the recipe instead because it's a little bit quicker. We preheat to 350, and then I'm gonna just throw some parchment paper on my baking sheet. It's also a really great recipe for if you don't have a mixer. I am very lucky to have the KitchenAid, but I don't even think I'm gonna use it today just because it's so easy to use. Easy to make, not easy to use. I'm gonna do one egg and crack it in the bowl. Okay, three tablespoons of maple syrup. This is the one that I have. Originally bought this for, oops, pancakes. And it's almost done and I've basically only used it for pancakes one time. I've used the rest in baking. Then you're gonna do two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I just got a chunk in there, I think. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Something that I learned when you're using a nut butter or anything really sticky in baking is to spray the cup measurement with like an avocado oil spray or an olive oil spray before you put in the nut butter so it comes out a lot easier and it actually just like falls into the bowl rather than having to scrape it out and not having the exact measurement. And then you also want to spray the spoon that you're scooping it out with obviously. So I did end up using the mixer, but only for the wet ingredients, just because I wanted to speed things up a little bit. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna add the dry ingredients now, which is three quarters, 
three quarter cup almond flour, a little bit of cinnamon, fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of sea salt. And I think I might also, oh my God. And, holy shit. And I think I might also add some dark chocolate, just because. <laughs> Like, well, <laughs> well, so I can at least pour three. I'm gonna take the baby glass because so I had four beautiful glasses. These were a gift from Avery. Uh huh. When he left to Qatar, he broke one. <laughs> I'm just not careful enough. These are really hard though. I sometimes I break these just when I'm washing them. That's exactly yeah. What I was like, I'm gonna take the ugly wine glass and Renee doesn't drink much. Now I just though, poured so. everything in the nice ones. <laughs> Girls' night. Pretty glasses. Also, this is a really good wine. So yummy. Happy Friday. I am doing the sheets this morning. And I just came over here to show you guys this coffee stain that I just created for myself on the carpet. I'll insert a photo of what it looked like. But it's basically almost gone. And this stain is, is really just wet right now because I um I put some water and oxyclean in there. I'm so impressed. Luckily the carpet already has a little bit of a pattern in it, so it's not gonna stick out too much, but obviously super annoying. Okay, I just got dressed. I didn't really have time to vlog this morning because I just had things that I need to get done. But I um, am about to leave for a little coffee meeting and then I'll come back and finish off the vlog. I have a bunch of clothes that I wanna share with you guys, actually. Um, nothing too crazy, but just some new staples that I haven't had a chance to share with you yet. Um, it's so funny because obviously in January I was trying to do no spend and then February was just nonstop spend. And not even willingly necessarily. February was just, I had a lot of like tax related things not just my taxes, but also like accounting fees that I needed to pay for the year. And then I also just had this moment where I felt like I had nothing to wear. I didn't like anything that I had. Um, and so I bought a couple of new staple pieces that I'm very, very happy about. But yeah, I just did my makeup and I realized something and now I can't stop thinking about it. Um, I am wearing my Armani foundation I think it's a little bit darker than my natural skin color, but it's only like a little bit. It's not worth getting another color. But then I looked at my hairline and the difference between my hairline and my face is crazy, especially in real life. And now that I know this, I can't unsee it. It's like the stupidest thing ever, but anyway, I'm gonna head out. I will see you when I return. I'm time traveling. Um, I'm back home from my lunch meeting. It's like several hours later. It was longer than I thought, but it was so nice. And now I'm back home. I'm gonna do the clothing haul as I promised and just like show you guys a couple things, try on a couple things maybe. Um, still haven't made my bed, so the sheets are just like here in the corner, but it's fine. I have to pull everything out of my drawers because I've been saving a lot of things to share with you all together because it doesn't really make sense for me to show you guys like one or two things I'd rather show everything at the same time in other news i don't know why i'm sharing this but i feel like i have to share it um when i moved last year i signed up for mail forwarding and highly recommend to anybody because it just not only sends all your mail to your new address but also reminds you what automatic mail you're getting because a lot of the times you forget like where you put your address or what mail you sign up for. Anyway, I don't know if this is how they do it everywhere, but when you sign up for it here, you basically start to get these emails every day or every business day where they take pictures of the mail that's coming in that day. And so this has happened to me twice now. I This morning I woke up and I got an email saying that I was getting a letter from the IRS. And getting letters from the IRS doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong, but because they don't come in very often, it, it's always just like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, do I owe something? Are they checking something, blah, blah, blah. So the whole day I've been thinking about this stupid letter that's in the mail 
and the UPS guy doesn't come until 3, 3, 3 p.m. ish. They come around. Sorry, I'm like going back and forth. I'm just trying to get everything. Um, so I go have my lunch. Lunch is great. I come back and I go and get this letter from the mail. And it turns out that it's just a form welcoming me to their like online program or whatever because I just opened a business account. And it's like telling me how I can sign up for their e-services. So the whole day I'm basically just thinking about this stupid letter. <laughs> and it ended up just being like a, an email sign up form, which is obviously great because nothing's wrong, but it's just stupid that I was thinking about it so much. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got one pair of jeans, two jackets, and then like two or three tops, nothing crazy. Oh, no, I got two more pants, shit. A lot of you guys already know my spiel when it comes to shopping, but I am very much a believer in shopping for more investment type of pieces rather than just shopping for the trends because trends are so short-lived, especially in fashion. And honestly, unless you're someone who works in fashion or is you know in a position where they need to dress that way, it's just not feasible to be buying new clothes all the time and to be constantly revamping your wardrobe. And even if you are in fashion, like I'm, I'm in fashion, my work is in fashion, but I just even then don't think it's necessary to constantly be updating your wardrobe or chasing the trends, you know? And I think that's something we need to be careful of, especially when it comes to social media, because you know, there's a lot of content out right now with people showing new clothes all the time and new outfits all the time and it can kind of make you feel like you always need to have new stuff to wear, right? I've, st I've talked about this before on my channel for sure, but at the end of the day, it's just not necessary. And I think the best way to go about having a great wardrobe is figuring out your style and the pieces that look good on you, pieces that make you feel good about yourself, pieces that are comfortable, um creating like that base wardrobe so if you're a jeans girl like getting a couple pairs of jeans that fit great if you're a trousers girl like getting that great pair of everyday trousers um i really only wear like four or five pairs of pants like honestly that's that's just the truth and then you want to get your staple tops you want to get some really good basic sweaters for the winter your tanks um and then jackets is where it's it's like fun to try something new or fun to switch it up sometimes. But yeah, you really don't need as much as you think you do. And once you have like the basics and the staple wardrobe, then you can start to play around and get some fun things once in a while to like spice things up. Okay, first thing that I got is this basic black tank. It's like a scoop tank. I'm gonna try all this on in the mirror so you guys can see better. But this is a seamless, black tank it kind of scoops a little bit lower in the front and I just think this is a great staple for castings under blazers um, just like an everyday little top and I, I really like the cut of this one um, next thing that I got is also another top this is actually the same as the one that I'm wearing this is a long sleeve basic black top from Aritzia I wear it all the time it's so comfy it's from Sunday best and I got the same top but in a cropped version because uh, sometimes I think it looks cute with a blazer and just a little bit of skin peeking through. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You guys get the idea. It's, the material is very soft, ribbed. It's not too thick either. Then I got this gray sweater. It's oversized. You guys will see it better in the try-on, but it's super cozy and comfortable. And I just thought this was a great everyday staple. I've basically worn this every day since I got it and I love it. They also have it in a couple of different colors. I think they have a black and a white and a olive green color. All great for everyday wear in the winter. I also recently bought these pants that I'm wearing. They're trouser pants from the brand Favor Daughter. Great pants, great brand if you're a little bit on the taller side. And I've been eyeing these for months, but they're they're pretty pricey and I wanted to try other brands that were more affordable first before I pulled the trigger on these. I tried Aritzia and Aritzia's tall section is just not made for tall girls. It really isn't. And I'm not even that tall. I'm, I'm only 5'9". Um, but their pants were still too short for me. I tried Jerf Avenue and 
I just didn't like the fit of their pants. Just couldn't find anything that I liked. And then I ordered these and I, I'm so glad that I did because they're the perfect like everyday trouser pant. You can wear them with sneakers, can wear them with heels, can wear them to a casting or to work or to the airport. Like they're great travel pants because they're so comfortable. I'm kind of mad that I waited so long, but on the other hand, it's, it's like sometimes it's worth to spend a little bit more money on something. I think that applies to like a coat or good denim, um, good shoes, obviously. But sometimes you can find a really good dupe for a way better price. I also recently got these black pants from Cotton Citizen off Shop Up. And these are more of like a chill, casual pants. They're definitely nice enough to wear out, but they're um, not as dressy as the trouser. <laughs> this is kind of a weird story because I went on the Shop Up app to show someone my green coat, um, the fuzzy one that I always wear. This was just this past weekend, not not too long ago. Um, and these pants popped up and I saw that they were, they were like more than 50% off because they were having a President's Day sale. And Shop Up's great with their sales because if something doesn't fit, you can still return it. Whereas a lot of brands will use it as a way to get rid of their clothes and then you can't return it. It's just like a stupid, stupid shopping ploy. But I kind of just took a chance. They looked really great on the model. I was like, you know what? If they don't look good, then I'll just send them back. And they ended up fitting great. And they're one of my favorite pants <laughs> I've ever bought. These are like the perfect airport pants because they look stylish, but they're so comfortable. I also got this pair of jeans from Mother Denim. It's like I'm peeking through a window. I have a funny story about these jeans because I actually work for Mother. I started working for them in September. And so I knew about these jeans before they even hit the market. And I remember the first time I tried them on, I was like, I need to have these jeans because they just fit me like a glove and that never ever happens. And so I remembered the name and the wash. And then as soon as they came out, I was like, I need to buy these. Um, so they did give these to me at a, at a really discounted price. I will be honest. These are definitely on the more expensive side. And I don't know, morally I struggle with raving about something that I got for free or raving about something that I got at a discounted rate because I know that if anybody buys them, they're not gonna get that. This is one of those things that I would have paid full price for because of how they fit and because of how I feel in them. Um, and so I still wanted to share them with you guys anyway. These last two pieces are from a site that I had never shopped before. It's called W Concept. And I discovered it because I was looking for a very specific type of jacket. I love jackets. They're probably one of my favorite things to shop because I think they just add so much character. And I also think it's a really easy way to spice up an outfit if you mostly have basics in your closet, which is kind of what my closet is like. I originally saw a jacket on Naked Fashion that I really liked, but it, they didn't have it in my size and they didn't have it in the color that I wanted. So I started looking for something similar. I came across this website and I kind of just took a chance, which I don't usually do because I like to stick to what I know when it comes to shopping. I also like to know that I can return things easily and that it's gonna come you know, within a certain time frame. but I just took a chance and I'm so happy that I did because these jackets are amazing and I love them. The first one is this leather jacket and it's faux leather by the way, this is not real. Pretty simple jacket, has like a little collar detail which I think is so cool. Um, little sleeve detail. I thought this would be fun to switch it up because I do have another leather jacket, but it's more of a moto style. It has a lot of zippers on it. It's from All Saints. Some of you guys might remember it. Um, and I think it's one of those jackets that you're gonna have forever and it's gonna come in and out of style, but I liked this for more of a clean look, a little bit cooler. Um, and I'm so excited for spring so I can wear it. And then the second jacket that I got is totally different vibe, something that I don't think I would usually go for, but I was very drawn to it for whatever reason. This is the jacket. And I just think it's super chic and fun with the stitching and the gold buttons. And I feel like you can dress this up or down. You can do this with trousers and sneakers, or you can do it with like a, like a black pant and black boots and a crop top or something and just make it look really chic. And I love it. They had this in a couple colors. They had this in a light blue. They had it in like an ivory color and then this the black one. I really like the ivory too, but I had a feeling that it was gonna look dirty. And so I ended up going with the black and I'm so glad I did. 
I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in checking anything out. Um, everything is pretty much true to size. Yeah, everything's true to size. I got a size small in the sweater. It is pretty oversized to begin with, so you don't necessarily need to size up for it to be any bigger. And then the jeans, I'm a 26. So I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna end off the vlog here actually because I have a lot of footage from yesterday and I kind of want to spend the rest of the day editing so I can enjoy the day off tomorrow. Although I'll still probably have to do some computer work, but at least enjoy it off a little bit. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.